This is the scene about 35 minutes after the Georgia Dome was imploded on this Monday morning leading up to Thanksgiving. And I'm Jason Mader from Institute Communications. We are about 600 feet away from it. Let's bring in Lauren Stewart as a professor in the School of Civil Engineering, our structural engineer, a blast expert. That's how it's supposed to happen, right? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. So we uh, saw the different um, detonation points go off and then we heard the we heard the detonations um, over about 12 seconds and then we saw the building come down, so the structure come down. Um, and then we saw the big uh, dust cloud as we expected, so that's how it's supposed to go. And the majority of the structure is down, so that's, um, that's what we expected. So what happens next? There is a part that's still up. I guess just trucks kind of take out all this stuff. Yeah, so that, that I would imagine that remaining um, portion that's still up, they'll have to determine how stable it is and then the best way to, to bring that down as well. And then come in with um, trucks and um, different machinery to haul off all of the larger debris and the smaller concrete debris that's inside there. All right, so the Georgia Dome stood for about 25 years and it was down in about 12 seconds. We'll leave you with one more view. That used to be the Georgia Dome.